About one year ago, 11 investigators brought you guilty without proof. It told you the story of 13-year-old Maurice Purify and his brutal murder in 1998. Two men, Wayne Brady and Carl Willis, were convicted of that crime, but they say they had nothing to do with it. A lot has happened since then. You know, a lot of people reach out to me because, you know, they hear investigative reporter and maybe in some ways they think I can do something. But when they reached out to me, I wanted to hear them to try to figure out whether there's really something there and there's anything I can do. Who in their right mind would go hurt a 13-year-old child? I didn't have no idea why they even had me. Carl Willis is an innocent man. If I had any regrets, now I would say, yeah, I have a reasonable doubt. Those two gentlemen have been protesting their innocence from day one. I saw some shots fired. None of it makes any sense. I don't feel any compulsion to have our office go and reopen this investigation. I'm not a monster at all. I'm still in the crossing race. There really was no evidence against Wayne and Carl. They had the testimony of one man who the state gave a plea deal to. And it was only his testimony against Wayne and Carl that resulted in the conviction. He kept changing his stories. And later he told me he kept changing it because it wasn't true. These guys had no great legal representation. Carl's attorney did not practice criminal law. Wayne's attorney spent eight hours on this case, eight hours of investigation. I spent hundreds. People in this situation, they just don't have the ability to have someone really fight for them. It's very hard for people to admit that maybe they made a mistake. There are things going on that we can correct. Justice is supposed to be the ultimate goal. Nobody wants to convict an innocent person. Sometimes the justice system gets it wrong. We try to find Travis Slaughter, he saw it. It impacted him. It took a lot for me to build up a relationship with him and for him to trust me. And then for him to actually appear on camera and tell this completely unexpected story. Did you kill Maurice? He told the same story. He's been consistent in telling the same story. Because of that interview and because of his story, the Innocence Project they're gonna be able to go back to court and fight for a new trial. Prosecutors are human, and sometimes they make a mistake. Since the current prosecutor came to office, she has never exonerated anyone. She's like, well, I know nothing about this case. Her signature was on the state's response to the Ohio Supreme Court opposing Wayne and Carl's bid for a new trial. After that point, because I was able to completely tear apart the prosecution's case, every time I went back to the prosecutor, she refused to talk to me. So at this point, they've gone completely silent and they're not being responsive. And that really makes you ask, why? Have enough questions been raised to warrant a new trial? Sometimes as humans, we get it wrong, and the innocent are trapped behind bars. But now, you have the power. You have the power to demand a conviction integrity unit, right here. Under Ohio law, all of the 88 counties set their schedules for the appointed counsel, how much they're paid by the hour. In Lucas County, for aggravated murder, the cap was $4,000. Elsewhere in the state, the cap was $15,000. I pointed this out in an investigative piece and kind of showed all 88 counties how there's this wide disparity in council caps. In Seneca County, which was the lowest in the state, they were $3,500 for aggravated murder. They knew nothing about this. They didn't know that they were the lowest. And because of that investigation, they have actually adjusted their caps. And the same thing happened in Lucas County. Within the next couple of weeks, they're gonna adjust the caps. I live all the stories. I mean, I live and die with them. I put so much emotional energy into them that they do keep me up at night. It began with a cry for help. The truth was demanded to hold the powerful accountable. 
11 investigates uncovered that Lucas County was one of the worst in the state at limiting resources available to underserved defendants. Commissioners have now put the wheels in motion for total reform of the judicial system. Seeking justice, taking action, getting results. This is WTOL 11, Toledo's news leader. At 11 Investigates, our goal is always to hold the powerful accountable and to give a voice to the voiceless. At some point in 2021, Wayne Brady and Carl Willis are hoping that they'll be back in court fighting for their freedom. If they are, we'll be there every step of the way. With your help, we've been able to make changes in the Lucas County judicial system. Keep it up. Let your voice be heard.